Hey guys, it's me, Edward Vane, and for today, we are going to review a gaming mouse, the RG101 from RG Beast. Alright guys, let's go. Let's start up with the box, guys. So, the box looks pretty good, the packaging is great. Okay, it's nice and black, you can see the model of the mouse, but not actually the model name, you can only see a picture of it. And you can see the company logo. I ordered white, but in every box, the mouse is black. You can just tell if it's black or white just by looking at the checkbox. Other than that, there's nothing inside but the mouse itself. No manual whatsoever, so that's pretty much okay, but compared to the Red Dragon, you get a manual and a sticker. Now let's focus on the mouse itself. Now, from the moment you plug this mouse, you can see the beautiful RGB effects of this. It is incredible, it is bright, especially if you get the white version. So there's RGB at the top and the size as well. Incredible. I think this mouse is brighter than Red Dragon mice, and even brighter than Logitech mice. And you can see that there is the logo on top, and there are two buttons too. We have the DPI button, and we also have the RGB button. Other than that, the standard side buttons and the left and right and scroll wheel are here too. Now, what I've noticed when I use this mouse is that it weighs heavier than my last wireless mouse, weighing at 110 grams. And if you are a first person shooter or you play Counter Strike or Valorant, you can really feel the weight of this thing, 110 grams. My last mouse was 80 grams, so I think that's the reason why it felt a little bit heavier than my previous experience, okay? But when it comes to an average user, I think 110 grams is a good weight for you. One, one issue, well not really an issue, that people might not like is the wire. Okay, some people like wires, some people like a wireless mouse. Here it's wired, it is braided, so if you, you don't mind, you know, wires at all, don't worry, the wire doesn't look bad since it's braided after all. Especially since we're looking at a 300 peso mouse. But you know what, it does feel like an 800 to 1000 peso mouse because of the quality. The material looks, looks and feels good, okay? Now, this is good for palm, fingertip, and claw grip players out there. Me, I have, a, I use actually a fingertip and claw grip when I'm playing Valorant, and this is pretty good for me. The only issue that I have is that it has like a bigger hump, you have that curve on top when you put your palm in. Yeah, that for me is a little bit uncomfortable, and other than that, no issues whatsoever. Now this has a sensitivity up to 8000 dpi. Now that is like the standard maximum setting for your mouse if you're buying a gaming mouse. A lot of people do prefer a higher DPI setting, but if you're just an average gamer or you're not really a professional streamer, 8,000 is good, okay? And to be honest, sometimes you want, you know, lower than 8,000, like maybe 6,000 or 6,400, okay? Again, for 300 pesos, this is a major steal. If you guys want to buy the RG101, I have shopping links below. Again, only for 300 pesos. Amazing. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching my video, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Okay, guys, bye!